Sabrina's conjuring up breakfast. How about pancakes? No! Hilda and Zelda warn she must never eat them cakes. She has a genetic pre-witch position to pancake addiction. One bite, she'll be hooked for life. Sabrina ignores her aunt's clear cautions and chomps that yummy stacker. She's fine. No problem. She can put this stuff down anytime she wants. Sabrina corners Harvey, enjoying a casual standing hallway cake, to get a taste. Harvey tells her to scram, but Sabrina, a full-blown bisquick fiend, hounds him. <laughs> Fiend? Classic fiend talk. Whitney Houston fishes a half-eaten pancake out of the trash to rub it on her gums, then attacks a peer in the chance he's got what she needs. Sabrina is licking Harvey's hands for cake juice and shaking like Rick James at Nino Brown's funeral. I'm in the mood for pancakes. Are you holding? We need to raise money for prom. Come on now. No bad ideas. Pancakes! Okay, maybe some bad ideas. Sabrina, do you mean a pancake breakfast fundraiser? Sabrina's beamed up to Mrs. Butterworth's mothership. Do you have any? But because pretty blonde ladies can go crazy and nobody cares. The pancake breakfast is on. Sabrina Downey Jr. is ransacking the house for product, licking ham for the glaze, dumping maple on apples, shaking like Charlie Sheen on the 4th of July. Salem catches her in the kitchen, whipping up some midnight flap rocks. She's caught white-handed, terrified the school will discover her shameful addiction. Salem offers to help with a syrup potion that makes pancakes taste like rancid booty. She says thanks by choking the shit out of him. Let's hope her twitchy, dusty-ass, blasphemous, dope-fiend hands can get it done. Sabrina's got her anti-pancake pancake syrup, but gets distracted by doughy morsels. Swooped! Libby tries taunting her with a floor cake, except Sabrina full of grace is unfazed. Let's party. Uh-oh. Where is the magic sauce? Oh, these taste awful. It must be her syrup. Except it ain't. Libby was grossed out by a blueberry. Libby's a stuck-up asshole. Sabrina goes full Pookie the Teenage Witch, based out her damn skull off that grape rock moving through the room like the Tasmanian devil of slamming them fluffy thangs. Sabrina comes home looking ready to take down Indiana Jones, thicker than a molasses milkshake. Mm. Bootleg Doogie Hauser puts her on a crash diet and pops her Missy Elliott getup. Problem solved. Except not at all. She's still a dang junkie. Zelda locks Sabrina in her room to go cold turkey while she rescues Hilda from a B-plot. It'll build character. I don't want character. I want pancakes! I hear that, sister. Sabrina does a fun, the clock is crawling as I tidy up to take my mind off pancakes montage. Because people kicking heroin are known for their meticulous living spaces. Sabrina has a dope dream from her griddle sweats. Everyone's bopping around, singing about, you guessed it, pancakes. The answer to the riddle is cakes on the griddle! A song bad enough to make you want to trade in those pancakes for a hit of rock cocaine. Sabrina wakes up from her musical nightmare to find Salem in a stack of doughboys, and a syrup lady who wants to take her someplace nice. Sure, why not? Let's party. The sticky stranger whisks Sabrina away to an international pancake house. That's basically a crack house for breakfast, where she can fiend out with her fellow cakeheads. Sabrina has a hasty moment of clarity. She abandoned her friends and family for pancakes. Syrup lady says, hush, who needs those losers when you've got pancakes? Do it, Sabrina. Eat them cakes, girl, eat them cakes. Eat them cakes, girl, eat them cakes. Eat them cakes, girl, eat them cakes, girl, eat them cakes, girl. Eat them cakes, girl. <laughs> Sabrina's breakfast wheel for a dream is over, but was it enough? You want a taste, little lady? Well, do you? Of course she does. They're pancakes. They're delicious. And she will always be jonesing. She has to take it one day at a time, like any serious addiction that involves hallucinating a syrup lady. But we're not done. There's a credit scene where Sabrina yells at Salem in a bar to seek treatment, because a crippling catnip addiction is ruining his life. Hilarious for anyone who's ever had to have a similar conversation. So what did we learn today? Inescapable, self-destructive, hereditary chemical dependence is very much a laughing matter, complete with musical numbers and field trips with new friends. If you ignore your elders about drugs, as teens will do, no problem. Kick that monkey by cleaning your room and taking a nap. And which, or mortal, pancakes are never this addictive. But you can't smoke crack Friday nights on ABC. See you next time on a very special episode. <laughs>